DJ more the very best reviews. Tell them none can contest. We gon' What's good, everybody? Welcome to another Real Talk Tuesday. I'm here with my girl, Gina G. What's good, Gina? How you doing? Hey, Jay. Hey, Chad. Hey, hey. How, how was your week? How's everything been going for you? <sighs> it's all right. I'm ready to get into the new year. Man, this I year will. went by fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I do want to um, send condolences out to the Curry family on the loss of their family member. Prayers and blessings to you guys. I'm sorry. Okay, you said the Curry family? Yes, the Curry family. Steph Curry? No, 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 no. My, I know them okay, personally. Okay, all right. I'm sorry. All right. Yeah, we kind of uh, work together. I was, you know, I didn't hear. I'm thinking one thing, so all right. Mm -hmm. Definitely. We got our girl Kay Leezy in the building. What's up, Kells? How you doing? Hey, Jay. Hey, Gina. Hey, Chad. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, what's up? How you been? Hanging in there. I hear that. I hear that. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, Kay, what you doing this Christmas? You got any plans going on? I don't really do Christmas. Uh, so, you know, but I am enjoying seeing people put their lights up and you know getting into somewhat of the christmas spirit to me at least you know sometimes before you could feel that type of energy even though you know i didn't partake in it the traditional way however i don't feel it like you know i'm, I'm not right. i'm not getting the, the the vibe that i normally see but one of my neighbors she did put up some lights and i was like mm, look at you <laughs> Now that you say that, I haven't seen as many lights up uh, this year. Um, mm -hmm. It don't really put you in the Christmas spirit right. without all of that, you know. Um, so I, I, I didn't even realize that. But, yeah, that's a good point. It hadn't been much lights. I guess people, you know, saying forget all of that. But when we was kids, everywhere you went was decorated. Mm -hmm. People mm -hmm. went into that. Right. Yeah, so people ain't really into that no more or lazy. It or, did. It felt right. way more festive. It right. Did. You knew that Christmas was in the air, the holiday season. You knew everything. You know, mm -hmm. you melted the cakes, bacon. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, it was just right. a different vibe. Like, I've never eaten um, pork or ham, but I used to smell it. They put in that, you know, you, you could tell. It had a, it had a, it had a mm, about the fat back on the grill. Smell like Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, back, yeah. back galore. <laughs> I smell police. No. Gosh. <laughs> but yeah, man, Christmas. Yeah, the Christmas spirit. People are normally more kind than usual. I mean, people may still be uh, whatever, but normally people are happy and festive and in a given mood, so to speak, around this time of year. Um, I haven't been out a whole lot right this time this year so far, but I haven't experienced any of that. Um, so I don't know. I guess times is changing, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, we got a, a lot of great topics we're going to get to tonight as well as have a little fun, sip on a little something, something, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, uh, you know, have a little, you know. Night, guys. <laughs> I know, that's right. Uh, shout out to my girl, B. What's up? How you doing? Hey. Good hey, to see you as always. Dang Dollar, J1's hey. in the building. Yes. <laughs> One of the J1s. He ain't the day ones. It's the J1s in this piece. What's up? <laughs> Encouraging warrior. What's up, girl? How you doing? Hey, Trinette. Uh -huh. She said she liked Christmas because of all the office parties. I used to love Christmas office parties. <laughs> and then you might, you know, get that one person that you've been hitting on and now they done got let loose. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> Time for you to give me that gift. They keeps on giving, yeah. Hot pocket. Oh, hot pocket. <laughs> it's crazy, Jay. 
they say when the world is on guard, it's hard to be jolly. I know that's right. I know I've been on guard for a minute, man, and uh, it is draining. So, yeah. you know, Dame said that that smell you smelled was clogged arteries. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Hashtag walk. Walk. Come on, Emily. Hashtag oh, hot pockets. Fat pockets. <laughs> Fat pockets. Speaking that of was a good one. Fat pockets, that's beautiful. I love that. I, I want to have to steal that one. Fat mm -hmm. pockets. That, that mm -hmm. was great. That's my girl. Anyway, speaking <laughs> of a thought pocket, <laughs> what is going on with Scotty Pippen's ex-wife, Larsa Pippen, now dating Michael Jordan's son? Marcus Jordan. She's already been with a lot of people publicly, and we know Scottie Pippen got a big beef with Michael Jordan right now. Uh, he wasn't happy with the last dance. He's upset with Jordan for a lot of things, and this woman allegedly i don't have all the details i know that some of this is true but allegedly got a lot of money from scotty pippen in the divorce as well as a piece of his nba pension and you know she's 48 years old she has a child in the nba now scotty pippen jr that plays for the lakers he's 21 Oh. And Marcus Jordan is 31. Okay, who wants to take a swing at this one first? <laughs> Gina, what you think about Scottie Pippen's ex-wife? She also was linked to another NBA player that's real young recently, as well as Future, the, the rapper, um, what do you think about her now that she's out here doing this and now this may be one of the lowest blows? Is she doing this because she like him? She doing this because she hates Scotty so much that she trying to, you know, really hurt him? Is this just her? What do you think is going on with this? I know that was a lot of questions, but. I think she's, I think she's despicable. Like she's disgusting and I don't like her. Because I do remember when she was going out with the young kid. I can't remember his name, so excuse me. But he was a young kid. He was in the same age group as her boys. Yeah, he and the boys point. were going and they were like, you know, going to their games and stuff and getting teased. And, you know, people were saying stuff about them like, oh, your mom's out here. Because mm -hmm. she's frolicking with the basketball players that they could be hanging out with. Mm -hmm. And I forgot so to mention that they got teased while they were on a date as it says here somebody screamed at them while they were on a date together in public mm -hmm. what do you think about as well adding that in the mix i think that people are you know people some of them don't have filters off of the internet so when they do see these people out they feel like oh well i'm gonna say something and they end up saying something. I do think that she's wrong for that. She made a statement talking about um, Scotty and Jordan were not friends like that. And so she didn't watch the boy come up. Like she didn't watch uh, his son, you know, come up because people were saying, oh, like you watched him grow up. And she was like, no, it's not like we were having play dates or nothing like that. Like, yeah, she said uh, only one year she knew them mm -hmm. and the rest she's mostly since scotty was with portland and scotty mm -hmm. pippen jr was actually born in portland but she's 48 he's 31 i think or 32 she knows better let me ask you mm -hmm. kate Leezy, what do you think you've been holding it in let it out and it's not necessarily about age this is you know Michael Jordan and Scotty got beef. You just had an ugly divorce. You got kids this dude age. Jay is despicable. I'm joining in with Gina. So I don't know her history like that.
But what I will say is she, according to Trine, she's a thought pocket. Okay. She's terrible. Um, one, the, yes, the age, you know how I feel about this whole age thing, right? Um, what is she? Uh, what? 16, 15 years older than me? Must oh, about just, 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 yeah, she's 48 and he's 31. So 16 years. Yeah. Right. So come on now. That anyway, apart from that, right, what's really, really serious is you even though you divorce from him, you can't go and affiliate yourself with the ops. It just doesn't work like that. You got to have a certain amount of loyalty to your team, even though it's broken at the moment. You understand? Like mm -hmm. you just don't do that because you're going to incite more drama if there's already drama in the midst. You're going to be the problem and you letting this little boy run through you. Come on now. Stop it. Yeah, too many people, you know, they ain't doing or saying what they could or should. And, yeah, it may not be the best situation, but, like you say, you, you're now with the ops and, yeah. That's right. That for her. He ain't going to say no to her. He's not going to say no to her, right? Mm. That's that. Especially if he's not ready to settle down. She's she, she prime for the picking. But she is making the big mistakes here. You understand? Mm -hmm. She should she should know better, but I don't know. And so what? The how, how old is her kid? Is her kid um, twenty one? Scotty Pippen. Junior has one. Junior has one child, right? Yeah. Let me let me ask you this now. Miss Jocelyn said, "Age ain't nothing but a number. If she could still pull them, what's the problem? She ain't doing nothing that man haven't done. Why is it a problem if Jordan's son like her? He's a grown ass man." Okay, Miss Jocelyn. Okay, Lee, so yeah, what do you think? I, I, yeah, he he could he could like her. I don't really compare the things that I do or women do to what men do. Like we are not equal, in my opinion. We balance each other out, though. You know what I mean? And to me, that does make a difference. I'm not gonna carry myself out in the street just like a dude just because he do it. You understand? Yeah. I don't, I don't look at myself as we you know we equal counterparts, but we do balance each other out. So I think that um. In regards to that, she, she, yes, she have herself together. You know, she's enhanced or whatever the case may be. And that's fine. However, <laughs> you're talking about a lady who got a rep. She's a thought pocket. We're not just talking about a, a quote unquote decent cougar, you know, who's dealing with a younger man and they got synergy and chemistry and all this good, wonderful things. You're dealing with a, a thought pocket and you're dealing with the ops. Yeah. Go find some other 31 year old if that be the case. Mm -hmm. Understand that that's just it. Don't don't go to the like you like you said, Gina. She didn't see him growing up because um Pippin and, and Jordan wasn't cool like that. They still not cool like that. Don't find another 31 year old. Now let me say this. One like, thing, uh, yeah, one thing about what you say about like Miss Jocelyn, what men do and women do. I agree that you know women and men you know this but i disagree when it comes to sex i still it is a double standard i believe maybe i'm wrong but i still don't think women can sleep around like men do and then be looked yeah. at they right. can, and but they won't be looked at the same is what i'm saying they will be looked at as a thought or this or that nobody gonna be like yeah she a player yeah she be getting that deep yeah, she be taking it, you know what I mean? Back shots, yeah, man. She take those, you know what I mean? She be doing one, you know what I mean? Hey, she a player, though. Every time I see it, she got a new dude running up in her, you know? She a that just does not work. It does not it sound right. All right, you saying exactly. it. Exactly. So, men, you be like, every time I see him, he got a new chick on his arm. He always running through something. Damn, he and that's scared. still negative. But that's still wrong, negative. But, it's, but it sounds more. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You can't have a no. talking about. I be having dudes all up running all through me, all up in this and that. They be giving me money, breaking me off. Oh God, you know, like is she wrong? I mean, I don't do that. I'm, I'm not saying really. you can oh. do it, but you will sound like a thought or you know whatever the case may be. Right. Whereas a dude would sound like a player. So I'm just saying they won't it be. It still sounds either. negative. 
it, it, it even though it's it's the norm when it comes to hearing men talk like that, it's still a negative note. You ain't gonna be like, oh, that's a good upstanding man who talking about he running through chicks every two weeks of boom boom boom. That's well, the, uh, that's not the upstanding yeah. dude. So it's still negative. It's just it's just you know customary or stereotypical. What? That's true. I'm not what? saying that mean you a good upstanding man, <laughs> but a player is not looked at as bad as the whore. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? I'm not saying the player looks like an upstanding man, but he looks a little better than the whore. Cause yeah, because yeah, because <laughs> Even with the player, like he'll still be looking attractive to some women. Like some women will be like, "Oh, you know, they weren't his type. Like they couldn't tame him. I'm gonna be the one to do it." And then they go and still hang out with him and still get involved with him, thinking like, "Oh, you know, they're gonna be the one to change his mind on how he treat women." But with women, it's not seem like that. Like as soon as your boys find out that you with that girl, it's like, "Oh, that's community chick." See what I mean? So, and and Miss yeah. Jocelyn got another great question. What's the difference between her and the Kardashians? To me, I don't she see a difference other than <laughs> they're right. negative I, too. Yeah, I don't see a difference other than they knew how to monetize what they were doing, and now they are paid off of it. And she just just a jump off. She not getting monetized and paid off. She should have had a sex tape with one of these players released. Then start a little beauty line or something. Talking about I'm 48 and you saw me taking them back shots. You can too. If you want to take back shots like a thought, then get this back she shot. Like Betty DVD. Did that. Get the back shot Betty DVD for $9.99 and you can learn these moves too. Mm. <laughs> it wouldn't work. Listen, I don't think the Kardashians are good either. So it's like, you know, sometimes when you, um, you, you you putting them together so like what do you think how you asked how you um what do you think about them too they they in the same bucket to me they all were friends oh that's true <laughs> they, they were friends know, they know each well, other as a matter they're of fact friends. larsa they're friends larsa. now and lala no they're not friends with them now she's not friends with them now oh, they kicked out the group but we got to get did, into that in a second, though. <laughs> Larsa did say that she took Tristan to one of their parties. And he she was dating him at the time. And she took him to one of their parties. And that's how he met Chloe. Whoa, and then Kit cuts the curve and went with Chloe. Wow. And she still stayed friends with them. And then when they didn't want to deal with her no more, they kicked her to the curve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's messed yeah. up. That. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's messed up that she got kicked out of the group, just messed up that she <laughs> and all the stuff they got going on, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is interesting. Uh gzdr 4 ev on Twitch. Shout out to everybody that's watching on Twitch live. Appreciate it. Uh, as well as Twitter and Facebook. And YouTube, we be streaming live on multiple places every time. So definitely appreciate everybody. Don't forget to subscribe and all that. But he says the same dudes who down women for sleeping around will low-key talk about their favorite porn star and how they would get with her even if it's once. Hmm. I don't know why that would have something to do with the other, but I guess he's saying... You down women to sleep around, but you want to sleep with a woman that sleeps around for a living. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. I could see some guys might do that. I don't necessarily watch a lot of porn. Um, never have. And I don't necessarily down women for sleeping around. Um, you know, they can as long as they gonna sleep with me, I'm good. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but uh, but for real, I mean, it's, that ain't my business. I mean, if I'm going to, you know, be with them, I would prefer that they don't sleep around. 
I was about to ask you that. Would you want your woman for a woman? Would you want that to be a booski, Jake? Hell no. So mm. that I would not want. And uh, you know, if somebody else and they was doing that, more power to them. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have come in contact with somebody that sleep around when I was younger, and I have messed with them, but we was done like i wasn't like in love i didn't diss her but i wasn't about to kiss her either you know what i mean basically we wasn't about to cut you know be in no relationship so um i got some friends that look at porn so much they know people names and this and that and i'll be like wow <laughs> like it ain't that deep but anyway what do you all think about that gina what you think about men and and porn and and women sleeping around i mean i think if a man is going to look at porn go ahead and do it as long as it's appropriate porn and there is appropriate porn so make sure you're looking at that as far as women sleep around as long as she ain't do it with, it with my food i don't mind that's her business i feel like as long as it's consensual and she wants to sleep with that person she should have all the right to do it Mm -hmm. I'm not doing it. <laughs> but, you know, if she feels like that's what she wants to do, I don't feel like she should be demonized for it. Like, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't think so because they don't do that to the guys. What do you think about this? What Damian Kenny said? He said the Kardashians not running through the ops children. Give them some time. <laughs> they not old enough, Dame. Right. Nah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Leo, uh, yeah, that's funny. Now she uh actually has another good one. She say, Why is nobody talking about Lori Harvey and calling her a thought? I mean, I think she is on thought borderline behavior. Miss Johnson, she had a couple of discord. We I think this, she's she did. I mean we've had many, many conversations about um Lori, um, her mama. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We really talked about that in detail uh, the other day. Yeah, but mm -hmm. Gina, what was you about to say about Lori? I mean, she's a young girl. I don't even think that she's sleeping with all of these people, though. Like, you know, how it came out, they got NZAs. Like, I don't think that she's actually sleeping with them. Future, I think she slept with him. Michael B. Jordan, she was saying that she was in a relationship, so I, I believe she slept with him too. Okay. But it was a couple of corny dudes up in there that I don't think she you smashed. She slept with Diddy? Huh? Diddy? Diddy? You don't think she slept with Diddy? Diddy ain't gonna go there and I not get that. Diddy. Come on now. All right, so. Diddy. She All right. And I think she slept she with Justin too, but everybody else, we don't know. <laughs> no, right. Diddy, take it back. Son. Right, that's a, a damn father-son combo. <laughs> Let me get yeah, the huh? We putting her in the group too. We putting her in the group too. Thought pockets. We got yeah. a, we got three of them. We got two and a family. Thought pocket. She right. wanna get that father son meet combo. Yeah. <laughs> Before and after. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot. That yeah. is a lot. Speaking of thought pockets. <laughs> we now have a microchip that has been created to stick in that badge and it's supposed to monitor the health and well-being of it. Would you get it? I mean, I could see some thoughts getting it. I got that new eye cooch. Uh -huh. I got that walk. Optimal wetness. It's dripping. I can go on my iPhone. I can change the colors. I can make it pink. I can make it red. If I want to coordinate, I can put that purple. Uh -huh. I be dripping. I can make my tight. I don't need no kegels. I can just tighten it up. Boopie boop. Uh-huh. You feel that? What's up? So what you think? Wow. 
That is a lot. I'm not going to be the first to sign up and take it, but <laughs> I'll listen to the reports and the all. <laughs> Han Kelly? That, that that's not that's not gonna work with me none whatsoever. Yeah. I've been good so far, and I mean good. So I don't need no devices telling me that I don't got no problems like that. They they to me right. they gonna hook your cooch up to the internet. Oh yeah, Kelly. Uh huh. She had okay. maximum ovulation. Let's go ahead and okay. let her hit her with a beep boop beep. Make her have a little tingle, get a little moist. Start looking for a little vitamin D. Okay. We about to get Kayleezy horny and pregnant, and then we okay. gonna have a problem trying to do this and that. Fuck her life up. Mission complete. Next. You better use another name, Jay. That's a lot. That's a lot. That ain't gonna be me. Don't put my name with that. Put another mm. name in there. Not mine. <laughs> we about to make them walls, them sugar walls melt. Uh-huh. She want them juices. Splash waterfall on the way. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. She gonna need something to Calm them juices. She gonna be stuck with a new one. Uh-huh. Break down the black family. <laughs> so let me ask you a question. Where are they putting these things? Where, where are they putting them? That was my conspiracy theory. What? <laughs> where are they putting them? Are they inserting them inside? Uh, where, where they now you got to get that doctor. Hold on. I can't get in there. Let me get three fingers in there. Hold on. I need to put four oh, fingers no. in there and stick it in. No, I need, I need no, five right. fingers in there to insert it properly. Hold on. Now just wait while I wiggle them around. I'm I'm just trying to get it in there properly. Let me get a little wiggle at the top, mm -hmm. you know, in this little piece. Do you feel that? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's it's, it's, I, I, it's a dirty job, but somebody got to do it. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Almost there. Almost there. <sighs> Crazy. Wow. So where do they put it, Jay? Did they, did they say that in the article? Gina said, wow. Very. <laughs> ah, okay. So it says it is composed of the human vaginal epithelium and underlying connective tissue cells, and it replicates many of the physiological features of the vagina. It says, best of all, it can be inoculated with different strains of bacteria, allowing research to study the effects on the organ's health. It says, uh, okay, it's talking about how much that's important of the vagina, let's see. Uh, they talking about BV is currently treated with antibiotics, often recurs, and this can be something to help treat that. Making the chip, but like how? Yeah, let's get to the how part. Like how? Micro, it like so they make micro is made with micro fluidic organ chip platform developed at the Weiss Institute with human vaginal epithelial cells and human uterine fibroblast cells replicating the structure of the human vaginal wall. So it's replicating the human vaginal wall. That's how it's made to replicate that. It says after five days, the vagina on a chip developed differentiated cells that match those found in the human vaginal tissue. And then the scientists introduced the female sex hormone estradiol, a form of estrogen, into the chip and found that the patterns changed in response. And they successfully created a living model of a human vagina. It says they went further and tweaked it to allow for the study of the vaginal microbiome and other bacteria. And so uh, they say, what you think about that so far? It sounds like crap, Jay. It sounds like a lot. And it don't sound like it's necessary for us. It's necessary. It doesn't, no, my bad, my mint. 
<laughs> it doesn't sound necessary. There's so many things that could throw off the pH of the vagina and cause different issues like the BV, right? You can have all these complications. What on earth are they doing? You know what? I don't wanna I don't want to be judgmental on the type of people who's sitting in the lab thinking about this bangarange. This is the height and levels of the foolishness, okay? This is not gonna this, this is terrible. Thank you. Know, you. Look at all the ladies that we got in the chat that just said uh no. You say what? Look at all the ladies we got in the chat oh, just, okay. just said no. We don't want it. We don't want this. We know who's sitting, we know who's sitting behind the computer doing this crap. But see, see, here's the thing. Now, this is dipping in the conspiracy. But as each generation gets more in tune with getting stuff in their body, whether it's tattoos, our generation, that was taboo still to get a tattoo. Now, tattoos, piercings. Now, the people love, love, love that phone. Grew up with it. Love that phone. People got to get uh they got some technology where they could put a phone in your arm or put a bluetooth uh you know thing in your body or whatever so people are starting to do more of this now with this younger generations this grew up with tech in their life maybe mm -hmm. people under 30 or under 20 that are coming up might get this what do you think Gina about if you're young younger well if a younger person wanted to get that um what do you think do you think that's possible would you if it was your daughter thinking about that and she was in that age group what would you tell her i would tell her no because it ain't <laughs> gross like, no. trying to fix it. like it doesn't it this doesn't make any sense to me like i don't i don't understand what they're trying to do here Well, I mean, I it is something that is said as well in the conspiracy world that with the phone trying to track people and everywhere they go and say mm -hmm. or tech, with cameras everywhere, trying to see everywhere people go, monitor this or that. Maybe this is a, they got stuff now that you could put if you got diabetes that monitor this and that mm -hmm. and all kind of stuff to stick in you uh, to wear. If you got this thing, stick this on your arm and we can monitor this and that. They want right. to put everything connected to the Internet, your washing machine, your refrigerator, you know, stuff that don't need the Internet. Maybe yeah, because another way to monitor the human being and track them, put that upside that cooch. OK, we know she just came twice. OK, we know that she's Ooh. free. Now we know we need to monitor her. She's about to increase the population soon. Let's no, into mm -hmm. that. It's like putting a little cylinder up your pee pee. Oh, yeah. Technology age and stuff. I, I can imagine my son coming to say, that, "Oh, they gave me this little thing, and they're gonna put that up my." Get they put the chip on my balls, mom. Hey, they got the oh ball chip. Okay, not even that. If if you say if that's gonna go up in us, then you're gonna put that up. Jay, come on, this is utter nonsense. I am not sure where they're gonna go with this, but it needs to stay in the lab. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, if they came out with a chip, a lot of the lab sometimes. No, no. Hey, we got a chip for your balls. We got the ball, ball gag. <laughs> we got the ball chip. Okay, we can monitor optimal ball performance. All right. And if you had to have that intimate time, we can make sure that you're going to be at optimum. Ugh. Goodness. <laughs> Man be like, hey man, where do I get my chip? Hey man, I just got mine last week. <laughs> I've been tearing it up. Boy, my girl go, no, boy. She thought she knew something was different. She ain't know I got chip. <laughs> mm -mm. I'm good on that shit. I'm good. Nah, what they said, they, they, they give you artificial waterfalls. Gina. Well, Jay just said that. I've been drinking. You. <laughs> you believe it? Yeah. No. <laughs> that would definitely be a bonus. I'd be like, hey, baby, go oh, ahead and hit that waterfall button on that app. Boop, boop, boop. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it seems like it's better when it's natural. Like, you don't got to press no button. Hell. 
Yeah. You don't want the fourth you water. Sing water, water, all, water all the verses. You just got to know. I'm singing all just... the verses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all the verses. The hook and the bridge, right, Gina? The hook yeah, and the bridge. Right. <laughs> well, I changed my voice up for T-Boz, Left Eye, and Chili. Exactly uh -huh. right. when you got a natural. <laughs> Done. Done. Yeah. Oh man. All right. Method man. And uh and I got some other stuff like this before we get to Method Man. Microplastics. This one thing I want to talk about. I knew about microplastics, but I did not know how bad it is and it's everywhere i'll just say this and i mean like everywhere and all the animals it's in every one of us right now and they've even found microplastics in breast milk and in a baby a newborn baby's first poop they found microplastics wow yeah and it's not just going through and passing they're now finding it going through the stomach wall and testing wall and going into other parts of the body and this is all new nobody uh, no other human beings have ever lived with this mm -hmm. so we have infected everybody on earth with this and every animal and every mm -hmm. surface they have found microplastics in antarctica from when this goes because it can get to the point where it can be in the air and so mm -hmm. you know they found microplastics from old tires in antarctica mm -hmm. where there's no cars ever driven they found right. microplastics from you know that um and it's just going all over the world every surface on earth every person every living thing we have all been infected and we don't know what's about to happen i mean it's is really crazy and they try to say it here about try to stay away from plastic but as you if you think about it it's everywhere and it's like man whoo i don't know they do say in here do not heat any food up in plastic and do not freeze your food in plastic so them frozen ziploc bags because they say it's over ten thousand. 500 different chemicals and plastics and they don't people they not even required to tell you know what those chemicals can do or not do mm -hmm. uh, yeah man we we got to be careful stay it make sure that you get bpa free right. that's one thing you could do is get that bpa free and uh, that's one plastic that has been proven harmful. And, you know, y'all can check it out and see. I remember you've been saying that. Yeah, that affects your hormones. And mm -hmm. uh, and if you really look into how it affects your hormones, boy, 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 boy. So before we go ahead to Method Man, Gina, you want to say anything about plastics and, and what we got looking forward in the future to this? Yeah, it's devastating because you got to eat, like you got to drink and stuff that you are consuming could definitely put you at death's door. It's like, what's going on here? That's really sad to hear about the baby. And mm -hmm. that is on everybody. Like it's people are sick and they don't even understand why. It's like people like, oh, I don't understand why I don't feel good. It's like all of this stuff that we ingest. Adding up. We don't even know. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. That's like true. my mom was telling me that when she eats like meat now, it tastes different to her. Mm -hmm. And so she's like, you know, I'm about to cut out meat because I don't know what's going on. Like it just doesn't taste the same. Mm -hmm. And then my daughter was telling me that it's a certain type of meat that she ate, and she doesn't eat it anymore. But she's like, Mom, it just tastes weird. Like it tastes funny. Like if it was yeah. artificial or something. I'm just mm. like, what? But yeah, I, I really watch. like, yeah, I really like fish and I don't eat fish because I know they having a hard time with stuff. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. They having a hard time, Jay. They having a hard time. To say the least. Yeah, I used to love Friday fish fries. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. Kels, what you think? About what it's really sad. It's really sad to see that when you look at these documentaries and see the state of what we've done to ourselves and yeah. you know our womb, the earth, right? What we've done over the course of these years. When you see the plastic, like you said, you know, the fish, they they under pressure, they under pressure our hard body, Jay. You know, when you see all the you when you see all the plastic turn it into these mountains and wads and stuff. You can you see where we send in plastic to these third world countries. It's a oh, hot man. mess. It's a sad yeah. situation that now it's a part of our bodies and our in our systems. And you know if, if at first if it don't kill us, we it, we adapting. So what are we what are we adapting mm-hmm. into? Because you know you if you say you've seen this in the first the first baby poop, this is come from the mother. That yeah. baby was developed with this thing inside of them. They didn't even, mm-hmm. we didn't talk about the first meal yet. We talking about the, you know, cheese. Right. Yeah, it's breast such- milk. Yeah, it's true. It's mm-hmm. passing through breast milk through the mother. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's passing through the mom first for right. that baby to have it. It's passing through the mother. So now what, what what's going to happen? Because like I said, if it doesn't kill us, we evolve with it. What, what, what kind of, what are we evolving with if that's a part of our system? But I agree with what Ms. Johnson just said. You know, you got these people, whether it be from the 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 the, the microchips, whether from the plastic, they sitting in the lab, the money circulating around, and we just guinea pigs out here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it says right here, we are finding them in breast milk and newborns' first feces in our blood. The concern now is, is it getting into our brains? Because we have a wondering. If it's yeah. in our blood, it's in our brain. But you know, it's a blood brain barrier, and that's what they say. You know, it's no blood uh, brain fluid is separating that, and it's mm-hmm. a blood brain barrier, which keep the nasties out of our brain. But it's almost certain that nanoplastics are small enough to pass through that. So, mm. you know, mm, it's there, and like I said, if we're evolving with it, it's just now to see. You know what happens? What what do we evolve right. into? Because this is foreign. Mm-hmm. Is it small enough that it's not going to create an impact, or you know, eventually oh. it's not going to stay in that minute amount? You see, mm-hmm. they even put it into some ways that I never thought of. Uh, like it was a pair of pants that I bought recently that said that they were made with recycled plastic, and I was like, "Oh, that's cool." that they doing something with recycled plastic. And I didn't think about that. They felt like regular pants though. You wouldn't know that this was in there, you know, and uh, pants or clothes that are nylon or polyester. That's yeah, the plastics. Yeah, that's yeah. plastics in there. And it rubs off on your skin as you wear them. When you put it in the washer and the dryer, nanoplastics break off and lint and all of this stuff breaks off in the air from the vents and the dryer and all of that stuff all around you in the air all kind of stuff i'm like oh my god cigarette butts they say right here uh a sneaky ways that this happened is cigarette butts it's a four trillion cigarette butts each year thrown in the environment four trillion and it said they made out of synthetic fibers and microfibers in our clothing as well. That's what I was just saying. So two thirds, yeah, they say two thirds of clothing is now made with plastic. Two thirds. You know, a lot of people don't realize, especially like if you're using the nylon and the polyester. I remember my mother was against that polyester. Oh, no. but it's saying the Bible only wear mm-hmm. natural fibers. So if a lot of stuff, I don't like to be preaching, but a lot of stuff that's in the Bible, if we had all followed, would have never had these problems. It wouldn't be a plastic existence. We wouldn't be wearing nylon and polyester. You wouldn't yeah. have microplastics breaking off into your body if you wore cotton. It wouldn't do that. You know, 100% <laughs> cotton. It's a lot of stuff. Then they say also, even if you get wool or cotton, they are now coated in polymers, which are plastics, to make them waterproof and fireproof. So you got to be careful with all this stuff now. You got to go pick that cotton and make your own sweater. Goodness. <laughs> which nobody gonna do 
Uh, but, uh, <laughs> it's a lot, man. It's a lot. So I think having information is good. Um, some information is like, damn, kind of overwhelming sometimes. Mm-hmm. But I look at it like this. Yeah, I can't really eliminate plastic from my life. But now that I know this, I will try to eliminate as much as I can, you know. Right. And and where I do have to use plastics, I'm going to try to get BPA free. And, uh, you know, it may not make a difference, but I'm trying, you know what I mean? So uh, Mm -hmm. one thing, y'all been seeing me drink this water. This Mm -hmm. is the water. I'm going to have to tell people about it, but it's... (laughs) One thing about it is this plastic is all BPA-free, biodegradable, and some water bottles that you may be getting water from may not be. So you might want to check that out because when the water get hot, cold, all of that, you can get up in you. Get up but in you. But you know what's so funny, James? If you have Poland Spring, right? If you leave the Poland Spring in the car, you go to drink it, you could taste the you, plastic the, taste. You could taste the plastic taste. You taste the breakdown of it. It that does mean not. They're using a cheap mm-hmm. bottle, right? They're using the recycle bottle that um, you know, the crunchy one, the real, the light crunchy oh, one. Oh yeah, you know. the real thin ones. Right. You could tell the taste if you leave that water. You, you make can't. A lot of noise. Right. You can tell the difference. Mm-hmm. You can't drink that water if you don't open it and drink it right there and then. Forget it. Yeah, and you and you can taste the difference. I have, and I'm like, mm, what about that? Wow. Mm-hmm. All right. Last, we're gonna talk about Method Man, and mm-hmm. uh, he said that he stopped smoking. And uh, I just had it up here. I also got a couple other topics I want to get to if we got time. Like it says, how is a nepo baby born? And uh, I wanted to talk about what that was if we get a time for it. And also a little bit more information about Steven Twitch boss and uh, about his suicide. But it's more about black men's mental health. Um, An article came out on USA Today about that. So we'll see if we got time for that. Uh, I'm trying to pull up my method, man. I thought I had it already pulled up. Let's see. I guess I didn't. Hold on. Anyway, while we talking about it, Gina, what you think about method, man? I know women used to think he was so sexy and had crushes on him. What do you think about meth? Was it the look? Was it the swag? What was it? Or did you just like the music or what? Personally, I don't know no women that he's in there used to be. Like, I'm hearing that he's still fine. Ah. <laughs> still prime real estate out here. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I love Method Man. I love Method Man. Um, his music is definitely top tier. I feel like when he's acting and he's on his grind and everything, he does a great job. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, yeah, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. damn dollar. He stopped smoking weed during how high of all things. So he ain't smoking 20 years. Yeah, he a quitter. I don't that's mess good. with people that's a quitter. Never quit. Never give up. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> but uh, K. Leezy, what's up? Was Method Man a heartthrob for you back in the day? Still prime real estate? Was it? The look was it the swag? What it's is it? Gina said it look, and he still got it. Now what? So to me, it was the swag, right? Because the look of him, he's not my type. He's not, you know, what I would look at and be like, mm hmm. However, he got the mm hmm regardless because his swag was so up 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 Jay that he mm-hmm. was undeniable. But the the look of him is not, you know, what I would be like. I'm going for that. No, but he's still undeniable. So I, I got to jump on the whole band, bandwagon with Gina. He's still prime real estate because his swag was up. That's what differentiated him from the rest of the killer bees. 
Mm -hmm. Period. Uh, you think he had the most swag out of everybody in the woo? Oh, this is why he was the M E T H O D man. Okay. I, I guess you're right. I didn't think about it a lot. I think O D B had a different kind of swag though. He had no swag. He he had something else, but it wasn't swag. He wasn't looking at like like different kind. I don't know what it was, but he, he had was, something. He was entertaining. You know. He was very special. He was special, and we all knew he was special. And he had a little something about him, but it wasn't no swag. He wasn't sexy. Ugh. Yeah. He wasn't sexy. But yeah, Method Man, he was the one who, you know, he was captivating. He was the one. He was the ladies' man. He was the ladies' man in Wu-Tang. Period. Nobody else could take that away from him. Ghostface, cute. But not like Method Man. Come on. Pretty Tony. Yeah, you can't you can't put the two next to one another. They different. Mm -hmm. Now wasn't or isn't Method Man still married? Been married for like almost twenty mm -hmm. years or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, married. Okay, yeah, that's what's up, man. I give him credit for staying married, especially considering you know the world that he's in and being famous. I'm sure he's had. Plenty of opportunity. Now nah, I don't know if he has cheated or not, but they're still together. So whatever he has happened, they like that. that. His huh? name, his name wasn't really out in the streets like that either. Um, right. What was the last com comment? What with Corinne? Now Damian Kenny said, "Met the man equal Corinne Stefan Superhead," and uh, he said that well, he was her poppy, but he's one of the few that treated her right. I do not know about this. I do know she had a book and named some stuff. The people that I only remember hearing about is like Jay-Z and I can't even remember the other person right offhand who she was. So with. wait, so he treated that was he like he wanted like he was she was his girlfriend or something or well, so Corinne Stephens, I don't know if you know, she was basically mm -hmm. the jump off. They called her Sue, short mm -hmm. Superhead. And yeah. whoever be around, they be like, go and, you know, suck them off. And she just go do it. And so I guess a lot of people treated her bad. Like, you know, you, because again, the double standard. And mm -hmm. so they treated her bad. And I guess Damian Kenny is saying he's that he treated her nicely. Right. Even though okay. you know what was going on. Again, I don't know. But if what he's saying is true, that's showing something because she was uh, low at the totem pole. You was basically a head doctor, and they really didn't think much of you. It would have been real easy to treat you like crap. You know, they were all stars, rich, this and that. And mm -hmm. if he treated her nice, then that's saying something because mm -hmm. a lot of those guys don't treat those women nice they are a dime a dozen on that level pretty faces and pretty women is nothing special and so that i would if that is true i give him props for doing that you know uh, again i've never been on nothing close to that level but when i was younger it was somebody that was out there and uh you know i ain't treated bad you know, then she said she was sell a bit. I'm like, damn. Well, when you gonna sell me a bit? That's all I want to know. When you gonna sell me a bit, and how much? Then we cool. Oh, now you want to raise the price on the thing? Okay, I got you. Now I got something to say. <laughs> really? Great. Yeah, of course I'm joking. That's crazy. <laughs> of course I'm joking. <laughs> I tell jokes. That's what I do. <laughs> I play, I play. <laughs> anyway, uh, so, so he stopped smoking on the on the on the set of the movie. So that's why I'm about to break down. He said that uh, that he stopped smoking weed while filming How High, and he was saying basically, he said at first. Uh, when he was asked by Mano in this interview, um, he said they asked if they were smoking real weed in the movie. 
throughout the film. And he said, hell yeah. He and, they were, and he said that uh, they was like, you guys are so spot on in the morning, but after lunch, you come back, something's different. Because <laughs> they were smoking weed at the trailers. He, mm -hmm. said, he continued, the producer, Stacy Share. I remember she pulled me to the side and she was like, you know, after this, I'm going to still be a producer. My face isn't on the screen, but I'll get my credit. That's your face on the screen. How do you want to be seen? Right. You see what I'm saying? And this is something that I've talked to people before and they would say, or younger people, and uh, I would say, the impression that you leave, how do you want to leave the impression? Because they would say, oh, man, why should I have to do this? Or I don't have to say that. Or why I don't do this or that. And I'm like, no, you don't have to or you don't need to. But people will have a certain impression about you. So that's how you will be seen. How do you want to be seen? You know, how do you want to lead a mark? So he said that that was when he stopped smoking. And you know, he, he wanted to, back. Yeah, he wanted to get it together or whatever. So Oh, I, I thought it was something where he just stopped smoking, period. But I guess he was smoking when they say he continued to smoke or light up even when he con contracted COVID nineteen. It says right here that he went on to say that that was the only time he stopped smoking for the uh -huh. And that he continued to light up even when he had COVID. So he stopped for that movie, he's saying. Oh, okay. But he still said that he smoked and even smokes even when he had COVID. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Blowing that bull up in the air, that bull snip. Um, mm -hmm. but, uh, you know, he should have probably, I mean, I guess that's 20 years or whatever. But what do you think about the bigger point at hand, which is how do you want to be seen and your legacy and, you know, people perceive you? Because like they say, perception can become reality. I may not be a liar, but if I'm always putting myself in a position to be a liar, that's what people think. I might not be shady, but if I'm with shady people, and I might be perceived that way because that's what's going on, you know. So what do you think about perception and this and that? Kay Leezy, what's your thoughts on what he was saying? Well, I, I it's clearly to, to see that he respects his craft and he wanted to protect his image because somebody had said that to me, I'd have checked myself too. You know what I mean? So the respect he had for his craft and how he wanted to see himself, I appreciate that, that he was able to say, all right, fine, I'm going to done this for now because I, I, the she gave him a gem. And once you see people, they give him good information and they receive it at that time, not necessarily that he may have wanted to hear that, but it penetrated, he understood. And that means that he could take that to making more decisions for himself. That's probably why we don't hear about him in the streets like that. You know what I mean? Because he handled his business. I like that. Once again, the swag. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what's up? What do you think, uh, Gina, about what he say about getting it together and how she said how you want to be seen? I agree. I totally agree. I know a lot of people see me as mean. And I'm not, but I can be. But you gotta push me to that point. I'm not just mean, like, I live in New York City. You know, you gotta put on a tough exterior from time to time. So I do that mm -hmm. because, I mean, I gotta protect myself when I'm out in these streets. Right. But I do, like Kelly said, appreciate the fact that he listened and he said, you know, I want to be the best that I can be. You know, this is my craft. I'm. This is something that I enjoy. And like mm -hmm. I said, I enjoy him, you know, in TV and movies and stuff. I think that he brings it. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite roles was him in The Wire when he played Cheese. Oh, I couldn't stand him. <laughs> and I love Method Man, but I always say that when it's an actor that could make you not like them, like you just can't stand them. They doing their job. That's I mean, right. I don't for that because 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's done a really good job as an actor. Came a long way. Because mm-hmm. in How High, although when I was young and it came out and we was high, we thought that it was funny. It's not really like you would say a great acting job. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? <laughs> so he's come a long way. Uh, what he does on Power or even on uh, Godfather of Harlem and mm-hmm. other movies and things. He's done a lot. He's done a good job. You know, he's he's better than Snoop. And uh, let me ask y'all this. I think so. we, yeah, let me ask you all this before we go and everybody watching live and on the replay, you tell me what do you think uh, and your answer. But who is the best actor rapper? Who's the best? Now, I'm going to throw out some names. We got Marky Mark and the Marky Bunch. Really, Jay? You considering Marky Mark in there? Hey, he was a rapper and he won awards. He had an album out. That's what he came right. out first, Marky Mark. No, I do remember him, Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch, right? He pulled his pants mm-hmm. down, yeah. For real, yeah, he was Marky in them boxes Mark. like crazy. Right. Yes, I yes. Cube. That's what he used to be like, you want this room. <laughs> right, right. You got Ice Cube, Ice T, Snoop Dogg. You could even throw in Eminem. Dr. You got to throw in Pac, Tupac. I said Tupac at the beginning. I know. I, yeah, I should have known you would have said that in mm-hmm. the beginning. No, that ain't a surprise. But yeah. why, who else is a rapper actor? Will Smith. <sighs> ah, Will Smith Ludacris. is damn good. Ludacris I just watched. Uh, Ludacris is in there. Ludacris I, is in there. Ludacris. I just watched King Richard uh, yesterday again on TV. Will you know, Smith I don't have an affinity I don't have an affinity for him at all. I feel you, <laughs> but he came a long way. Mm-hmm. So that's nine rappers I got right now. It, it's got to be more than nine rappers. And it's only been, what, I guess 30 years, 40 years rappers have had a chance. Mm-hmm. Since the 1980, I guess. What I we see- going to put Ice-T in? Ice-T for SVU? I already is put Ice-T on there. I, I know. Like, what, what are we putting him for, SVU? He did movies. He used to yeah, do a bunch in, of movies in the Jack 90s. City. Oh, well, you didn't see New, New Jack, Jack City. City. Yeah, I I I see see like that, City. You know? Ice Cube was <laughs> more of a movie star before he started doing the TV. I guess he said, give me a steady check. They make fun of him. Yeah. I saw so many memes about yeah. having yeah. him in the <laughs> in SVU. What was that movie, uh, Jay, when they were like, I think it's a trespass? When they was trying to get and the he money. Had the lock. That was Tommy's father mm-hmm. that they was trying to fight. You know that, right? When he was young. Okay, and they were out there. Oh, that was they good. were like firemen or something trying to go get the money, and they bumped into yeah. the gangsters, and then they was trying to get it out in this like warehouse somewhere, run mm-hmm. down. Yeah, that movie was. It wasn't all that, but it was cool. Like it that. was. It was good <laughs> at the time. If you saw right. it. If you see it today, you'd be like, "This mm-hmm. shit low budget." <laughs> but so I yeah. think that Will Smith is the biggest of them all. Uh, you know, he probably is. I forgot about the Fifty biggest. Cent. I forgot about Fifty Cent. So okay. that's ten. Yeah. Fifty so, ain't bad, but he can only really play one role good. Because all the mm-hmm. other roles I've seen him play, I'd be like, eh. I didn't. I didn't mind the movie with him losing all the weight. I only saw a half of that one time. I only saw half of that one time. Me too. I didn't mind it. I didn't mind it. You know, they really dogged them for that, but I didn't mind it. (laughs) But definitely Will is the biggest. We can all agree on that. Will is the biggest rapper. Not about Latifah. Oh, yes. Yeah. I forgot about LL. So I like LL. LL. Remember, we were talking about him in NCIS. Um, oh, yeah. now, now, Will is the most accomplished. Yes. yes. Okay. But is he really the most talented? Do you all think? He might be. I don't know. Maybe. My, my, my shady part may not give him all the credit he deserves. I, maybe. I'm not sure. 
Dame Kitty said, Ice Cube, diverse roles, never played a feminine role, played the way for serious roles for MCs. Man, he played but, Are You There Yet and all of that stuff. That was, that was That was, that was that nice. He liked the serious roles. He could be the funny roles. I heard an interview with him, and he's like, you know, people look at me, and I look mean, but I love comedy. I'm all about, you know, making people laugh. Friday was a comedy. Right along. You know, yeah, I like Ice Cube. I like Ice Cube. I won't say he does diverse roles. He's always yay, yay. He's always mean and mad. He's, he's not always mean. That's the thing. He just look mean. No, but he's he's just a lot of funny. He was not exactly. mad. He was mad and are we there yet and all of that because he couldn't get but to the TV he was show. His. He's funny. He's funny. What TV show? It had a TV show. Are we there yet? It had like oh. six seasons. And he wow. was in it. It was funny. Well, that's the thing. I think he's like, funny. even in the movies, it was funny, but he was being mad. That's mm, what's funny okay. that stuff is happening. And he man, he looking at the little bobblehead doll and he trying to get with Nia Long and this happened, that happened. You know what I mean? He not yeah. and he was mad. I'll say, we I'll say he's diverse. I'll give him that one. Mike Pitts, see, we know him as a, a rapper first and then an actor. My kids only know him as an actor. I mind. Cool. Ice Cube. Ice Cube. What right. About, what about T.I. Yeah. and MC Light? T.I. Maybe MC Light, but not T.I. I is like he was I like right him. in a couple of do, He's one person I that I used to be a DMX, right? DMX did have a he good run. A I like I Never Die Alone, movie. man. Oh, Never yeah. Die Alone was a real serious movie. It was good. It made me, it did make me, I had a it's low like, budget. Ooh, X, what are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> he put that battery ass in the back. He did, oh, yes. He was like, you will always need me. I was like, no, X, no. <laughs> hey, that was grimy. Mm -hmm. Grimy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Oh. You know, his little boy was in that movie. Really? Mm hmm. The part where he did the same thing to the little boy's mother. And the little boy had the yeah, scar. Yeah, that was DMX. That was son. His son. Yeah, that's his wow. first born son, Xavier. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Drake, what from the grassy? Ah. <laughs> I, I didn't even think about it. I've never seen the grassy, and I only heard about it after he Drake came out, and people like he was on the grassy. I'm like, what the hell is when, that? When I heard he was coming out, I was like, from the grassy? There's no way he's gonna be hot. This yeah. is no way. He more of an actor turned rapper. Mm -hmm. He reversed mm -hmm. it. So, yeah. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Cheryl said, Ride Along, 21 and 22 Jump Street, Triple X. He mad in all of those. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still mad in everything, though. <laughs> he may be a comedy, but that's what's funny. He mad and things ain't working out. <laughs> oh, goodness, yes. This fight was good. Uh, that was he was mad in that. <laughs> oh yeah. You know what I mean? He mad in everything. But fist fight was funny as hell though. I ain't gonna lie. You know. I told my kids like Ice Cube is a you know, Ice Cube a gangster rapper. They're like Ice Cube. Yeah. I'm like you, Ice Cube. They're like, the are we there yet, dude? Yeah. <laughs> right. He's a gangster rapper. <laughs> So, <laughs> besides Will Smith, who's second best rapper actor? Is it Ice Cube? Ice T? Ooh, T.I.? Queen Latifah? L.L.? Oh, I love all of them. Let's put, let's, we oh, can put my team, though. Tupac, Tupac was damn yeah. good. Oh yeah, I'm never changing my stance on that. I'm that's who I'm going with. Right. But so we got Pac second. <laughs> oh, you got Pac mm -hmm. first over Will. I think she that could have been better than Will if he would have kept going and not died. Because mm -hmm. Pac did a damn good job. I know this movie isn't as popular as some of his other, but uh, what was the gang related? Yeah. That's he did a good job playing the cop. Mm -hmm. 
you know, a dirty cop, but yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he did a good job. So Gridlock I think was good too. Gridlock was good too, playing the junkie. He he played diverse roles in this short amount of time yeah. already. He played a junkie on heroin with Tim Roth and uh Thandy Newton. Thandy Newton? Mm-hmm. Man, that's a sleeper. That, that was a good movie. movie. Yeah. So then you know what? I gotta put my boy Most Def in there too then. Most Def oh, yeah. is good. I forgot I'm about Most Def. What was that movie, Jay? I know you know it with Bruce Willis. Stars. I don't ever know about name. Is it 13 Blocks? Yeah, the block? that was well, good. Was yeah. Something. When he was on the bus or whatever. Yes. Yeah, yeah that was good. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I put most deaf up there because his that his acting, I was just like, Dad, why he had to go and I forgot about movie. my boy Common. Yeah. Oh, Common oh, is Common good. Is good. Common is good. Common is good. Yeah. Damn. We got you we know what, have y'all no is doing a good job. Little right. bow wow. <laughs> Listen, you can tell me and my son not to watch Roll Bounce. <laughs> I love Roll Bounce. I think it's cute. He was better when he was younger. Mm-hmm. And he fell off. Mm-hmm. I didn't like like Mike when it came out, but I like okay. it now because okay. of the nostalgia. So I look right. back to see stuff like, damn, I remember that in the 90s or early 2000s. Okay. And so that's why I like it looking back at that now. And then I laugh at his little ass doing stuff and how corny and fake type stuff it is. So it makes me laugh at it more than with it. But I like it now. But as an adult, Bow Wow career went in the toilet. Mm. Hey, he had a good run. It's cool. Child star. Yeah, he's he's not just a child star. You know, he's just small, so it looked childish for a longer period of time. <laughs> but he had a yeah, good run. I, mean, so. I agree with Kelly. I feel like he did have a good run, but I feel like, you know, when most people would take a bow and bow out, he does no pun intended, he doesn't want to do wow. that. Mm-hmm. He bow wow. He wants to keep on going, and he, I, I don't know, like, he's into this whole thing with JD. Uh, isn't that crazy? Right. Yeah, that's two two grown men trying to do this stupid reclaiming of the youth foolishness. Had the brat come out and she don't ever say nothing. I'm so so she's really mad. I didn't but what did she like, say? I didn't hear that. So JD was doing a live or something, and he was like, you know, I basically created 106 in Park for Bow Wow. And so then Bow Wow, he took the article, a snippet, and posted in his story. And he was like, yeah, this is Cap. So then he also went and he tweeted things like, oh, you know, the relationship that I had with JD, you know, we made a lot of memories. It was, you know, legendary, but that's it. It was a chapter and it's done. And then the brat was like, okay, you're being disrespectful. This is the man that put you on. Like when, when Snoop brought you to him, he wrote songs for you like he managed your career he had you at the top of his list you don't treat him like this so it's like they having you know a family dispute but i feel like stuff like that should stay behind the scenes like we should not know about stuff like that jd was acting up he old and he trying to just get back some props or whatever oh, now because yeah. When he did the thing, I saw him do a clip of this thing where he was like, oh, I just want to let you know, um, Diddy and Shook Beef started at my party. And I'm like, well, what kind of madness oh, is you yeah. talking about? Who who, who want to use that as props? Like, oh, yeah, if they didn't come to my party, nobody would never saw the beef. So it started with me. And I'm like, Lord Jesus, why this man don't shut his old face up? I was yeah. watching this doc not too long ago i'm trying to remember which one it was but it was about something with rappers or something and uh jd been around for a minute he was a little kid and he used to dance for houdini or whatever uh jd now there's like this little jermaine and he was like "Mm." he was like Mm -hmm. bow wow Mm -hmm. uh all i'm gonna say about him is he used to be with janet jackson okay end of the right (laughs) <laughs> What's that supposed to mean, Jay? Call her Miss Jackson if you're nasty, all right? <laughs> this man was with Janet Jackson. 
I don't but know he, how. He, I do not know how. He hold on to her. He didn't hold on to her, but he had it for a few years, at least a year or two. It's crazy. I mean, Wendy said me. almost on count. True. Tressa C mm. killing me over here. She said, isn't Danny Glover done. a rapper? I'm oh, done. Yes. And listen up, folks, yes, yes. to what I say. I'm too old for this. Now let's go away. Reeks. Reeks. I'm too old for this shit. Wait, did she not mean the ATL, Glover? Yeah, that's him. Childish Gambino is his rapper. Oh, uh, Donnie. That's what I'm Oh, saying. Jay. <laughs> Not the oh, <laughs> Wow, Jay. Yeah, she's talking about childish Gambino, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Donald. His name is Donald Glover. <laughs> yeah, but Donald could be for short. I mean, we don't call him that. I, but know, you know, but I thought that was a Danny when I glanced at him. Okay, okay. I'm thinking she thought Daddy Glover old ass was a rapper. <laughs> when I heard you going on, I'm like, no, it's the wrong Glover. <laughs> right. <laughs> wow. And look, I don't think Jay even had no drinks. <laughs> Allegedly. That was, that was what they said. <laughs> Exactly. Oh God. Uh, that's <laughs> that was very that's to be the wrong lover. I'm done. Uh, right. Joey badass. We oh yes, we up. definitely gotta put Joey up there. Just put him up there. He gotta go. You realize that, right? All His the resume yeah. is short, but he's doing a good job to start it off. He's it's doing good. So you know what I was thinking? Ah, oh, geez. I was he's gonna be. Is he gonna be the new like Wesley Snipes in movies? Oh, Joey Badass. <laughs> yes. I don't know about that. He was. He was. I saw him in this movie I recently watched. It was very, very short. He was playing the Bobby Brown esque character in the movie Beauty, and I'm like, he's seeming like he's that kind of the Wesley Snipes character from in the New Jack Swing era. Mm. He's fashionable to be that guy now. I don't know, but I like him. Mm. And ain't he from Brooklyn. Yeah, I, I, like forgot him. I, I did mention Mark Wahlberg, but I keep forgetting about him. He might be but tied I like with Mark Will Smith. Wahlberg. He they, might be tied with Will Smith at number one spot, actually. Yeah, as far as the biggest. Yeah, you know, they big. Because you can't get past four brothers. I was Me and was talking about four brothers the other day. Four Brothers is a good classic right there. Mm -hmm. you know, so, now Khadija, before we get up out of here, she said Idris was started in music first. I didn't know that. Yeah, he's a teacher. Yes. He's a teacher. Yes. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. I did not know that. He's damn good talent wise. Yes. I think talent wise, he might be better than Will Smith and Mark. Oh, of course. Let's give it to him. <laughs> yeah, he just got he's very talented. Mm -hmm. I love rock and roll. Yeah. All right. right. <laughs> we about to get up out of here. Tyrese. Forgot about him. Well, I was gonna think about, him, but he's he's a like more singer, but yeah. Still. He's a singer. yeah. All right. Y'all got some drinks ready for a couple of questions before we go. I know I ain't say nothing before we yes. go. Yes. <laughs> okay, Tina ready. Then Kayleezy, I know you got some, some medicine you've been taking lately under the weather. So I'm about to you know it has the meme where the yeah. two dogs are in the window and one just does like this. <laughs> I'm just trying to hold it together. <laughs> together right now. I got you. I got you. All right, let's see. Uh I got some questions over here. All right. So uh let's see. Who you like better, Janet Jackson or J Lo? Janet Jackson. Janet Jackson. Okay. All right. I'll drink, I'll drink my water for that too. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Janet as well. All right. What movie are you going with? Bad Boys Part One or Rush Hour Part One? Rush Hour. Mm. I'm a drink because I like. Yeah, them. I'm a drink too. 
like I like them both equally. So me too. Yeah. All right. As far as acting, who do you have? DMX or Tupac? Pop. <laughs> Jay, I can't believe you. Let's drink, Tina. Let's drink. <laughs> I'm I love with Tina. Pac, it was but just I'm his drink. birthday and everything. Shout out to him, heavenly birthday. Mm -hmm. I'm not about to drink. <laughs> I go with Pac every time. Okay. All right. Boys in the hood or minister society? Boys in the hood. Oh. I like minister society. You didn't like minister society? No, no, Jay, no. Okay. You said, what did you say, uh, Gina? I said both. I feel like those are classic okay. movies. Like, mm -hmm. And I love Menace to Society. I mean, I didn't like the way it ended. <laughs> but Lorenz Tate has always been one of my boos. Lorenz Tate, and yeah. he did the mess out of that part. He's, he's really good, you know. He's really, really good. Mm -hmm. He had a great start. That very, was like his first big movie, at least. First time I remember seeing him in a movie. Really? Uh, you not know him from before? Well, I've seen him. What was he in before that? He was a baby, though. Oh, uh, yeah. And he was on uh, with, uh, what's old girl, uh, Della Reese. Wasn't he on the show that uh, Fred Sanford died? Red Fox, he died on that show. Royal Pain or something. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. I didn't see it, but I remember him on that show. He yeah. did good. Yeah. He did good to himself. Uh -huh. you know, Love Jones is one of my top tier movies. Period. Oh, yes. When he started doing that, I was surprised. Like, man, how old dog doing this? So, Love uh, Jones? That yeah. president oh, yeah. was great. That president was really good. He had a great start. Just like Omar Epps did. You can't say start, Jay. That's too long to just be a start. You can be a start is just like two movies or so. He got more. Well, Lorenz Tate is a great actor. Years, you could break it down to the first 10 years was your start. And the last 20 ain't been as good as the first 10. You know what I mean? Underwood, take him out of there. No Blair. Absolutely not. He could have. He got the talent. Blair, Blair Underwood is he's talented. He's he, I don't know about that. Well, he always like was that weird character to me. It was always he was sinister. He was always some underhanded. And it was really he was weird. He was stealing the town for, and posse, the black town. He, he always had some shysta, shysty, sinister stuff with him. He was never really good. He was the weird one with the ladies. He was. Freaky. He did the Tyler Perry movie. Uh, was it Family Reunion? No, he was bad in that one too. He was bad in that movie, but he he played the hell out of that part. He played a bad yeah. guy good. He yeah. played a bad guy good. He played he Russell good. Simmons. I'll never forget that. Russell Simmons wish he looked like Blair Underwood, especially back then, but he had Blair what, Underwood. What, what was it, Jay? Crush Groove. Crush Groove. <laughs> that yeah. was my movie. Yeah, yeah, that was the movie. That was the movie. I we love Run DMC. Yeah. They mm -hmm. all those rappers did a good job in that movie, and they mm -hmm. was all new fat boys. They kind of stole the movie. Yes. Oh, so, yeah, they did a good job. Yeah. I Shall won't count eat? all of them as actors though, because they just did one movie. But that movie. Is good. Yeah, Busta was a rapper turned actor too, Jay. Who? Busta. Busta oh, is. Yeah. He did have a good at his start. He had a good start. <laughs> he had a good start. He had a good start. Tressa C, thank you for super chat. Yeah. Uh, I know you know. Yes, Tressa. Often, but I definitely appreciate the lookout. She said we she, we had her drinking that peach mango. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for spreading love, sis. Definitely appreciate it. <laughs> All right, Gina, you got some questions before we get out of here or are we done? Okay, so I have which do you prefer? Starbucks 
Dunkin' Donuts, both or neither? Neither. Hmm. I pick Dunkin' Donuts. Pick no, I don't drink coffee, so. I don't I get coffee, but I get that. Well, I like uh, the donut bowls. <laughs> I like the uh, coffee, I mean, uh, vanilla cream kulati at uh, Dunkin' Donuts. That's like my little special treat drink I get. And it's like a yeah, I do like their cold coffee drinks. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. fire. All right. Yeah, okay, I don't do coffee, don't do sweet. So, oh, you put boys in the hood, Jay. <laughs> but I put which coming of age movie was better, Boys in the Hood, Crooklyn, both or neither? Okay. Wow. See, you all might resonate with Crooklyn a little more because mm-hmm. y'all. Had- New York and Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I didn't like Crooklyn like that to me. I was okay. like, man, what the hell is this? Spike Lee put out a family I movie. Know what you mean. I know what you mean, yeah, Jay. As I'm much like, as I have like this. I only have the sentimental attachment to it. But had it been different, I'd have been like, what? But um okay. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I definitely was like, this, this, I don't know. But the sentimental a- a- attachment was like, you know. Mm-hmm. I, love I actually just watched else. Crooklyn uh, recently on cable a few months ago, and it's mm-hmm. actually better now. Yeah, yeah, yeah you understand yeah. it more. It's sad you see her, the mom died. It's like Spike Lee's story, basically, and different stuff. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's interesting. It's all right. It's cool. I like it better than I did. I still wouldn't be like, oh, yeah, I'm about to watch that. Okay. Yeah, but I love it. it. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go with boys in the hood, though. What's the next one? Okay, the next one is... This is the grown and sexy question. So which position do you prefer? Top? I said bottom, but you know what I mean when I mean bottom, ladies. <laughs> 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 and uh, both or neither. And that go for men too. I should have said back instead of bottom. So. I know you meant back. I know no, you meant back. back. And that go for <laughs> men too. Do men want what? Yeah, Mission do the men. Yeah. Or, or yeah, do the men like the top, hitting it from the back, both or neither? I'm gonna say if it's both of those positions as an option, I'd rather be on my back. Okay. One. So he wants her oh, on top. Yeah. Kelly was like, oh yeah. <laughs> nah, yo. I, I, I can't, I'm not, I'm not, I can't participate because you know, the kid is home. Uh, <laughs> not participating today, Jay. <laughs> so drink your water, Kelly. Drink your water. <laughs> I'm gonna drink water in my, my business, okay? <laughs> You'll be okay. like, oh yeah, really? That's how we go, Kel? Okay. No, no. I don't need no smoke. <laughs> All right. What's the you got another one? No, Maybe? that was it. But my answer is back. Okay. Dame say he wanna hold some hair. <laughs> hold some hair? <laughs> oh Come yeah. Come on and braid my hair. Come yeah. On. I stay with the braids. You got somebody with you, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, we about to call it a night. I definitely appreciate everybody for coming through. Don't forget to hit that like and all that good stuff. And uh, if you got some comments, definitely leave them. Um, I hope everybody have a happy holidays coming up. Yes. Don't forget to check out my girl, Kelly, on uh, Instagram. Go ahead and let them know, Kales. BK all day three five eight. Marika and I are there. Hit us up. <laughs> there you go. And Gina, thank you as always for coming through. Thanks for having me, Jay. Uh, thank you, and Kales and everybody watching. Y'all have a good night. Peace. We have a great week, guys. Deuces.